Hey guys, Pat Tokoyami here. All right, so next up, uh, what I wanted to talk about was the um, brother or sister to the uh, AC charger. So this is the Victron Solar Charger. This is the 30 amp version. Uh, it's an MPPT controller, 100 volts, 30 amps, and it also has the Bluetooth uh, functionality. So the way that you would set this up is you would connect one, one group of wires to your battery and then the other group of batteries to your solar panel. So you can see here, that's how I currently have it set up. And as soon as you do that, it'll start charging, of course, when the sun is out. The reason that I got this was because I had an older, um, an older solar charger, uh, which didn't work as well. And I decided that it was time to upgrade and I wanted something that has the ability, or that had the ab ability to uh, use a smartphone app. And um, in addition, I wanted the ability to also future-proof this so that in the future, if I do decide to add additional panels or whatever, I would be able to add up to 30 amps of, or 100 volts and 30 amps of current if I needed to. So this met both of those needs. So let's go ahead and talk about some of the pros and cons. The first pro is that it's very easy to install. Like I said, all you have to do is plug it in and it'll start charging. Um, two, I think it's very well built. It has hard plastic on top. On the back side, it has a heat uh, grill as well as it's made of metal, some sort of metal that makes it very sturdy um, if you decide to mount it. Um, three, it's very efficient because it's an MPPT controller versus the other type of controller. Fourth is that it has a very small footprint. You can see it's probably around uh, three to four inches by four to five inches width and length and then it's only about one to two inches tall. So it's very small and compact. So those are some of the pros. Some of the cons uh, the Bluetooth range is very limited. I would say 50 to 70 feet, roughly, line of sight. If you don't have line of sight, then you might not be able to connect. Um, two, there's no built-in display. Uh, so if you want to see how things are going with regard to the charging history or the current charge, the amps, the volts, um, how many watt hours have been added, etc., you're going to have to use the app. the app. Third, it didn't come with any mounting hardware. So if you wanted to put this somewhere, you're going to have to provide that uh, for yourself separately or purchase it separately. Fourth and fifth, there's no temperature port and there's no voltage port. So you're gonna have to figure out other ways to determine that information if you need it. So not really big of a deal in my opinion since all I wanted to do was to be able to charge my, my battery with my solar panels and this thing does that without any headaches. So very happy with this device. Wouldn't hesitate to get any of their other solar charging products um, but for my needs and what I was looking for, this was the one that fit the bill. And uh, it was been, it's been a good um, experience so far. So hopefully that helps you if you are looking for something similar or you're just uh, starting your research. So you can see here, I just wanted to show you a quick demo of what the uh, app looks like. Um, you can see that there's the AC uh, charger there as well as the, um, the Bluetooth charger, the solar charger. Um, th these are both Bluetooth and you can see that it's connecting right there. So this is showing you how much uh, voltage is going in as well as the current currently on AC and you can see that it's in the bulk charge phase. So the same um, options are available for the uh, solar charger as well. You can see uh, when things are in bulk, absorption and floats, how many cycles there have there have been, how, how, um, how many amp hours or watt hours have been added. Um, and I think the history goes back to about 30 days and uh, overall it's, 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 uh, it's great to have all this information. Um, and then this is the uh, screenshot or the screen capture here of the solar charger in the app. So again, very similar setup. Um, at this time I think I was charging with my old solar panel which is why the um, watts are so low. So this, this panel I think is about eight or nine years old already. So it's, it's, <laughs> it's definitely deteriorated since it's supposed to be a 100 watt panel. But you can see here all of the history um, in the past of how the, uh, the panel has charged through this charger and um, very similar uh, graphs and uh, functions like the uh, AC charger.